Hey, so what is up guys, it's Poto here, and in this video I'm going to be profiling my um, Ice Mage talent spec, and it's going to be an updated talent spec, it's not that much different, however it does have, it does have some pretty notable differences, in my opinion, on the play style, so you know, this isn't going to be a full on explanation, so um, I'll just be briefly showing it, briefly showing some combos, and we'll be moving on, so um, anyways, here is the profile. So this is a profile right here. You can you know quickly look at it. Um, you know it isn't too much different from my last build. The only main difference is I take out points from Burnout and add it all into Lightning because um, I found that Lightning is a much more reliable spell, both you know in P in World PVE, World PVE, and especially especially in Arena because you know Lightning is energy damage. Keep in mind, Lightning is not a fire spell. Even though it is in the fire tree, it is not a fire spell. It does not deal fire damage. It deals energy damage. Meaning that Fire Mastery will not affect it and it will still do the same damage even if you have Frost Mastery. Meaning it will crit for 2.8k every single tick, which is way more than any other spell you have. And it's something you should probably be spamming off cooldown, you know, even if you have mana issues, you know, you should just learn how to, you know, control your mana a little better. Um, you know, there is such techniques, you know, you have to be able to, you know, integrate Cyclone into almost all your combos. And if you do that correctly, then you really shouldn't have, it be, have any issues with mana. So, um... You can see the profile, um, and everything else is pretty standard, the ice tree is pretty much the same. Um, three in the quick freeze and one in the perma, which is 22, 22, 15 I believe. So um, anyways, we're going to be looking at a few of the combos here. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you um, some of the combos, you know, just on the um, Mato mobs. And the reason why is because the students are not stunned, they're going to attack me for about 3k, so you'll be able to see and this will pretty much prove that it actually is a true stun lock. So I'll be counting the freezes. You know, Frost Blast is 6 seconds. Um, you know, Frost Blast is 6 seconds, Cyclone is 2 seconds. So anyways, I'll show you. And this is sh this really just shows, you know, you, the, co the timing really means everything. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So Frost Mage is also about improvising. As you can see, you know, I got another freeze from my from my Frost Bolt. So I was able to cast exactly, I mean exactly one more Frost Bolt in addition to my normal combo. So it really is about improvising on you know on the go. So you can't really stick to one combo like a lot of the other classes. So here is another, you know, freeze lock combo and they make a mistake by pulling two mobs. So once again I had to improvise, you know, change my combos up, you know, make sure I put more permafrost down so I don't get wrecked. But a second mob, which isn't getting stun locked. So, anyways, um, as you can see, you know, Frost Mage really is just about you know making up combos on the go. So don't think you know just by memorizing a bunch of combos you can actually you know make it through. So as you can see, a perfectly timed Winter Sleep right here. I casted it right before you know the um, permafrost ended. So it's just little timings like that that will turn you from you know an average mage to a really really good Frost Mage. And I got all this all these combos. You know, in World PvP, where if you mess up on a freeze, then it's pretty much just game over for you, because you know a lot of other classes can stun lock you back, and you can't really deal any form of reliable damage outside of your freezes and outside of keeping your opponent stunned. So there is a pretty big risk versus reward, you know, when you're playing Ice Mage, especially in Arena, where your partner really depends on you. Before the video ends, I'm gonna leave you guys with two helpful hints. And is first one is that permafrost and frostbolt actually stack on each other. So assuming the target isn't going for you, they'll be completely immobilized. And the reason why I say if the, assuming the target isn't going for you is because there is a glitch going around that if you press the uh, melee attack button while you're frozen, it'll move you towards the opponent. So um, anyways, my second hint is that there's always server lag. You always have to keep that in mind, guys. So um, if you want to recast, you know your your freezes. Don't do it, you know, at exactly when the freeze ends. You want to wait on. You, you can do it against mobs, but don't do it against real players because um, they'll cast it. You know, they'll spam their insta cast. So what ends up happening is that you want to actually cast a new freeze. You know, about 0.3 seconds before it actually ends. You know, just in case of lag. So when you support rate, come subscribe. You know, I did this video because under high request. So if you guys want me to do any other videos, you can just post in the comment section below. And then if you want me to do a full next a full explanation of the Frost Mage class, then you know post below as well. So this is Poto here, and then I'll catch you guys later.